Tobi has made a statement that is causing traffic in Nigeria today. He has touched the lion's tail. I repeat, P Tobi has made a statement that is causing traffic today. He has touched the lion's tail. Nigerians are moving mad at P Tobi now over this particular statement that he made. He was in an interview and he made some statements that has angered the Yoruba people, has hang angered the Christian community. And everybody is saying that P2B will never get up to 1 million votes in the next elections. Remember, P2B almost, let's say P2B won the election. Let's leave it at that. But now, for the statement he has made in the past, especially that with the Goan birthday, some analysts are saying that he has lost his Igbo followers for that Goan statement he made. Now, the next one he made just the last time he did an interview, he has lost Christian, the Christian uh, supporters he has because he made a, a statement about the church. Now, the one he made about the Yoruba community, according to the analyst, he has lost the Yoruba supporters. That means P2B does not have any supporters. And the same analyst said that he has lost his Muslim supporters when he said, church, take over your country. They called him a tribal by God. That is what P2B is being called today. So, in other words, the statements that P2B has made in the past has cost him his re-election, even if Nigerians are going to believe on him. 2027. See, when Nigerians open their mouth and say some things, you will now understand why the country will never ever work. When people who have PhD, professors, religious leaders, tribal conservatives when they open their mouth to say anything that is when you know that nigeria will never ever work what did p2b say about the church let's start with what he said about the church he said that he's looking for a country whereby the church will be more productive yes he said he hopes that nigeria benefits from productivity driven night shifts instead of traditional church vigils which he implied we are contributing to poverty now night vigils which is contributing to poverty when you critically look at what obi said he's saying the truth most people that are attacking obi they are in the uk the us and they are utilizing their night shifts it's not really like night vigils the UK, the US, which is a better economy, a better society, is more productive. Most of the things, the prayers that we are praying in Nigeria today are answered in the UK by a human being. Look at how the national grid has fallen. I don't know how many times it has fallen. The church has never proffered any solution to what the country is going through. Instead, the church at various times have been complicit in some of the criminalities that is going on today. There are so many accusations that the church is part of some of the criminal activities that is going on in the government and with politicians. The church joined hands with politicians to make the country as bad as it is today. Guess who are the people attacking P2B? Just guess. On that statement, it is always the Yoruba Ronu, the conservatists, and the APC supporters, the attack will be, when you go on Twitter, everybody now, is like they're in a WhatsApp group. They just pick out what Peter will be said, and they write an epistle. They make sure that it is done like 100 persons will do it. When I tell you that these people, they have a plan. Hmm? They have a plan to denigrate anything Igbo. You think that we are playing. It is an intentional thing. Peter B is saying something critical that every critical human being eh, will look at it and say, This guy is making sense. Peter B can never be perfect. Am I supporting Peter B? That is another discussion for another day. Peter B can never be perfect. But whatever he's saying, people look at it through emotions. You have had a country with the North and South West in leadership with their style of politics. And nobody can boast of any major project that they have done in Nigeria. Is it electricity? Is it health? 
is it what major? Instead, these people that are hypocritical in 2015, saying all sorts of things against Jonathan, saw what Buhari did, kept mute. They didn't say anything about Buhari. They kept mute while Buhari was destroying the economy. They didn't say anything. And these are the people that came out in their droves with all sorts of epistles, attacking what Peter Obi said about the church. They call him an ethno-religious bigot. That's what they said. You see, for us that understand how the media runs, we understand where these people are going. They don't have integrity. They don't have morals. The government in power today brought bishops, in quote, fake bishops. None of these people said anything. The government in power during the election eve or pre-election, it brought in fake bishops. The church authority did not say anything. They did not speak to that effect. They did not carry it on their head the way these people are carrying what Peter B said about the church. The church, Peter B is one person that has committed a lot to the church. He comes from a family of priests. He has donated to the church more than any other politicians that, that I know. There are politicians that might, that might have done more than Peter B, but within the three candidates who have supported the church more, it is Peter B. And Peter B is saying things that most of us understand. That is the truth. But people decide to look at emotions and because of the evil in their heart, the hatred for an Igbo man. Before Peter B, most of these people, before Peter B ran for presidency, most of these people said he was a good person, was a good leader, he was the best candidate. He, they wish that, like Renaud Mokri, he wished that Peter B would have a chance at presidency. Now, Peter B decided to contest. Now, they now change their volume. They now change their mouth and they start saying all sort of things against p2b it tells you the kind of people we have in nigeria this kind of people in nigeria nigeria will never ever move forward as a country with this kind of people and mentality in nigeria nigeria will never it has not been moving forward some people are saying that tinubu is doing it see my brother we have seen all those things before if tinubu were going to change the country because these people are saying Ah, Tinubu is a better person. That's why the fact that when you see the downside growth of the economy, hmm, Nigerians are being taxed to run the economy. The money is stolen by politicians. Remember politicians. They now turn back to take from Nigerians to run the economy. Nigerians ha Nigeria has revenue in our resources in billions and trillions of naira but these resources the revenue from these resources are unaccounted for politicians will come and steal money a certain government in power will not prosecute a certain politician he, which he knows have stolen the money buhari printed 21 trillion naira no prosecution he just like that and people are still supporting the government and believe that the government can fight corruption you give a corrupt leader your key to treasury. A known Maradona, you gave him the key to your treasury. You are not worried about that, but you are worried about a P2B that is profiling solutions that anybody in his critical thinking that is not tribalistic will understand what P2B was trying to say at that uh, podcast. You see, Nigerians are people that don't deserve good leaders, that don't deserve good governance. So, it is good that they are suffering under Itinubu that they believe that can change things around. I'm not speaking for Peter B. I'm looking at what Peter B said about the church. The church has not been productive. The church has not proffered solution. The men of God are not speaking truth to power. Instead, they gaslight people into believing that just prayer alone can change the country. You are praying for good jobs. Some human beings that are not even going to church are providing good jobs. God in heaven created all human beings and gave them dominion to replenish the earth, to make the earth workable. So people are using their brain that God has given to them to work these things out. The Bible says, faith without work is dead. We are always focusing on faith, prayer, prayer, vigil. You go to churches that do more of these vigils. 
when you look at the kind of persons that are there, they are their skill set is minus. You 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 rarely see people that are productive in such congregation. This is what P2B is saying. That in Nigeria we need productivity, people that are productive. Now, with this food scarcity in Nigeria, food farming in Nigeria, if you had people that were productive, if the church were producing productive people, you see people having farms, going into technology, making sure they produce their own food, but people are unproductive and they beat their chests, go for vigils, they speak in tongues, they pray, at the end of the day, poverty, poverty is showing all over they are not contributing to their society. They are not contributing to their family. They are not contributing even to the church of God. As you speak, when you go to most assemblies, you see this thing that Peter B has been saying. Now, the Mount Zion man, his son is Joshua Bamiluye, attacking Peter B for what he said about the church. The same Joshua Bamiluye was blind, was deaf, when Tinubu rented pastors and bishops at a meeting when they desecrated the calling when they desecrated when APC desecrated the church of God all these people kept silent but it is speed to be now everybody will shout and say all sort of things I regret this man is this this man is that all these things will not work my brother will not work for some of us we understand the games that these, you guys are playing we already know that the system is not going to work because of people like you what impact has the church have? What, what impact do they have on the economy? What, what impact? We have an Ajokuta still. Can the church bring out engineers that can run? If they, if, if they say, okay, let's give Ajokuta steel industry to the church. Can the church successfully run this Ajokuta steel without bringing people from outside though? Without bringing Oyubo from outside, though, because that is the, the style of the church now. They want to build, build roads. They can't bring one Oyubo that, that, is, that is not even going to church to come and build their roads. They want to build a, a power plant. They can't bring Oyubo that is not. Nigerians that are worshipping your church, take for instance a church like Redeem. Redeem have branches all over Nigeria. Can you assemble Nigerians that can effectively run the Ajakuta Steel Company? Can you assemble Nigerians that can effectively run our power plants or run our refineries? Strictly Nigerian, don't go and bring on Oibo. Since you people now have sense, Oibo that most of them don't even really go to church, but they understand what it means to be productive to their society. They have light, they have good roads, they have shelter, they have health uh, care ins insurance. Water is there, but in Nigeria that we go to church the most, no productivity. You spend most of your time in church. At the end of the day, you have found one thing. You cannot contribute to your society. The only thing you know how to do is to gaslight people and use emotional tactics on people. This is what is prevalent in our churches today. That is what Peter B is saying. But some unfortunate fellows are coming out to say that the guy is this. Yeah, is a, let him lose. Peter B don't worry yourself about being president. The system would not work. Even if it is there today. You see the attacks on, on uh, Tunubu, these people that, that are keeping quiet. Tunubu do this, they keep quiet. When Peter B enters there, this is the kind of thing you will see. Everybody on social media is Peter B. Everybody is hitting at him. When Peter B talked about the Yoruba people, he was talking about tribal politics. For the fact that you are Yoruba does not mean that a Yoruba president will benefit you because everybody is buying from the same market at the same price there's no preferential treatment for a certain and uh, because over the years that we have been playing tribal politics it has not helped us so some people decided to spin the narrative that's and they are saying that he hates Yoruba people by saying uh, you are saying you are Yoruba are you buying things differently no he's speaking to an issue that we have in the country today Many of these guys were playing tribal politics, especially Bola Metunubu, who some of these people are supporting. They will not point out the issues with Bola Metunubu's campaign, which was largely tribal. Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba. They'll tell you that what is wrong by somebody saying uh, Yoruba this. 
But the issue now that we understand, the North has been supporting their own, their religion, and it has not helped them in any way. They are not faring better than any other region. Instead, it is their leaders that are bringing backwardness to them. Their leaders are becoming an evil to them. This is what P2B is addressing. But some people decided to spin the narrative and say that P2B is an ethno-religious by God. He's attacking the Yoruba people. That's how this will roll. That's how they spin the narrative. That's how they spin the narrative against a particular candidate because they are being sponsored to denigrate and spoil P2B's name. It's so unfortunate that at this point in time, we are in this kind of society that will not work with this level of intelligence, this level of people and what they see, hypocrites, people without integrity and morals spread all over social media, all over the country, spread all over social media, all over the country, and they are even in the corridors of power. Look at what Lagos State Government is doing. It's so disgraceful that what P2B said is becoming an issue. Whether I'm supporting P2B or not, see, let's critically look at it. I'm not voting P2B or supporting P2B because it's an Igbo man. I will never support Ojizo Kalu, Okorocha, Uzodima, any of these Igbo politicians, even if they are Igbo. Just take a look at the House of Rep member, how Igbos attacked him. We don't support people because of tribe. If he has the capacity, let him run. And Osi Bajo come out today, he will get our votes. In a normal country, that is how it is supposed to be run. But some people have an agenda, and that agenda is to keep Tunubi in power, and they can go to any length to destroy their conscience. So that broadcast that Peter B did about the Yoruba people, some people took it personal and they are spinning the narrative as if he is attacking the Yoruba community. So they are now gaslighting their fellow Yorubas that voted Peter B and told them that see the kind of person you, you voted, see the kind of uh, hypocrite. They were calling all sorts of names. That is normal with this Yoruba Runu, Yoruba conservative and APC supporters. That is normal with them. That is normal with them. That's what they, they gaslight people. If you look at the southwest region, it is only Lagos. If Tunubu were to be a superman, what is happening to Ondo Ekiti State? What is happening to Oyo State, Osho State? What is happening to those states? Or are those states, even Ogun State? What is happening? Only Lagos, only Lagos, only Lagos. Your tribal politics does not work anywhere. Lagos has an advantage. And that advantage that Lagos has is spilling over to Ogun State because Ogun State is in the border. That's why you are seeing some of these things happening in Ogun State. If it does not have proximity with Lagos, that development, the, the industries you find in Ogun State, you will not find them. Most of them are at the boundary between Lagos, Muwe, Odos, Ibadan, Expressway. The industries you find in Ogun State, most of them are in the boundary with Lagos. So, you have been playing tribal politics over the years. It has not benefited anybody. It has not benefited the num See, it only benefited, benefits a number of people. But it will not benefit the masses. That's what people be saying. But some people decided to be unfortunate with their reason, with their thought pattern. Unfortunate. Because they believe that they must keep Tunubu in power till 2031. Tunubu has been doing a lot of things lately. These people will just keep quiet. They do as if they did not hear that one. They are, they are deaf at what is happening. They will just do as if it's not their business. From one, uh, from 600 Naira, I think. So from 180 something Naira, we are buying for 1,000. Nobody's bag of rice from 40 something thousand Naira to now almost 100,000, 120,000 Naira. Nobody's saying anything. He was interested in the lies and manipulation that Tunubu is doing. The, in, the, the thing happening with Dangote, Minister of Petroleum, where Dangote and the marketers are having issues. If it were to be P or B, you say he is not a leader, doesn't have the capacity. If he cannot uh, solve Dangote and marketer uh, issue, there's nothing Tunubu has solved. Instead, it is all about gaslighting. Yes, tomorrow is coming. It's coming type of governance. It is coming. That's how we did with Buhari. Is coming till tomorrow. Mr. Integrity. People really believe that he had integrity. At the end of the day, the eyes of Nigerians were open. The church as you speak now, 
mm, does not have any impact that can be felt on the society. Okay, it is the giveaway. Giveaway don't sustain the society. Giveaway will not sustain our economy. Giveaway will not bring light. Giveaway will not make our refinery work. Giveaway will not make our industry work. You know that nowadays, industries are closing up while churches are being set up. People are going to the same church to pray for jobs. Why the same place they went to pray for jobs was an industry before that employed a number of persons. So, that's how the church rolled. A bread factory will close up and a church will buy up that bread factory. And some of the members will go to that place, that former bread factory, and be praying for their daily bread. Say nobody should be that. And one Joshua Bamelo is coming to attack Peter B. When, if it happens with Tunubu, I'm very sure they will not come out to attack. But because it's a Peter B, and it's a Yoruba sensation, and these people are keen on that Yoruba sensation to, to say all sort of things against the Peter B. Peter B should open his eyes and understand that Nigerians don't want good leaders. They don't deserve good leaders. They need leaders that will punish them. They need leaders that will crush them. They don't deserve good governance. They need to suffer. You understand? You don't come and prefer solutions to Nigerians because Nigerians are wired to suffer. If they are going to be saying all these things against a P2B and not looking at the statement critically, then it tells you how far about Nigeria. See, we deserve the leaders we get. We deserve the leaders we get. It is from the people that the leaders come out from. So, the kind of people we vote and support in power are, the, are a reflection of ourselves as Nigerians. There's nothing you tell us. They are a reflection of ourselves. We are a church, and, and the country is so bad that people are losing jobs. Churches are getting empty because most people cannot afford even transportation to go to church. All, all, all those blue chip churches, they are trying to cut and join, cut and join. Churches are failed. That is the story of the, the, the long and short of everything. The church has failed. If you want to spin the narrative, spin the narrative. That is your business. Very soon, the young people are no more interested in the church because the church has become a place whereby you gaslight a lot of people and there's no productivity. Even those guys on the street that don't go to church are more productive than those who go to church for prayers. That is the irony. And you have this people online, they'll come and gaslight you. The people that have voters card now are illiterate. The people that have voters card now are people that don't know how things are being run. It is these same influencers that come online that will go back to their community and tell them all sorts of lies. Lies. During the election, lies were being told left, right, and center. That's why I told you that this system cannot work. This system cannot work. We are going to get to a point whereby everybody has to go their separate ways. That's the only thing. Long and short. Long and short. I will keep on willing until somebody eyes is opened. I will keep on willing until somebody somebody realizes the scale from my eyes is, is falling off. I will keep on willing. I will keep on talking and talking and talking. I will never stop from talking.